Hi there guys, so I just want to make a quick video for Hunt Showdown to demonstrate the way that a certain mechanic is non-functional. I don't mean it's broken in the super good sense, I mean it's it's actually broken as in it doesn't function correctly and it makes it useless. Um, in particular I'm talking about the toggle raise weapon. So if you are using the hunter control scheme as opposed to gunslinger uh, for the field of view advantage, um, so a lot of people choose to do this because it means when your gun is lowered, you can see a little more. And then when you actually raise the gun, it zooms in a little bit. Uh, the downside, you could argue, is that it's a little bit slower to actually be able to get to the aiming. Um, and it's a little bit less convenient, I guess, to actually enter the iron sights, depending on your point of view. Because if you're using the gunslinger control scheme, just hit right-click, 7 to raise weapon, and hit shift. Um, but anyway... The thing I want to talk, I want to demonstrate, really, is that I actually personally prefer um, toggling uh, to holding down, because I find when I have to hold it down, my hand kind of tenses. And if I have to hold it down for like a long period of time and a tense encounter, um, it's just not that comfortable. So I like the ability to just click the right click and toggle it up, clog it back. It's just my preference. But the reason why I cannot use this in this game is because it doesn't work right. So if we go to the controls, um, so this toggle was not always there, by the way. They added this later. Um, if we go to the controls, you can see that sprint by default, sprint and uh, aim outside share the same key. Now, if you split these apart, it will work fine. But there's something I want to demonstrate. All right, so let's say we start with it off. So we turn the shoulder aim to hold. Let's say I've got the, the gun raised. So I've got to hold it down. Now, let's say I want to sprint. Let's say I've taken a shot. And now I want to sprint. So, you know, you can just uh, let go of right click and hit sprint. And you'll immediately start sprinting. So you can just let go and hit sprint. Works. Now, that is not what happens when you use the toggle. It's what should happen, but it's not. So let's say we switch just to toggle. Now, let's say I've got the gun toggled up. So I've toggled it to be raised. Now, let's say I want to lower the gun and sprint. What you're going to do in a, in a tense gunfight is you're going to tap right click and immediately you're going to hit shift. So what, what am I going to do? I'm going to hit right click to lower the gun, and then I'm going to hit shift to sprint, right? So the problem is, the way that they've done it, and this is not how it works for hold, you have to wait for the weapon to fully complete the downward animation before you hit shift, or it will not start the sprint. Instead, what it will do is it will just enter the iron sight. So I've got the gun raised, and I want to lower the gun to a sprint, which would mean hitting right click and then shift. So right click shift, it just goes back into the iron sight. So you have to do the timing, and it's really irritating, and it, uh, it's just something that's always bothered me, because it's basically why I can't use it in this game, because it shouldn't be going into the iron sight. It should be, you know, lowering the gun and then going to the sprint. But instead, it does that. <laughs> so if you wait long enough, if you wait for the animation to finish and then hit shift, it'll sprint. But in, in a real gunfight, that's gotten me killed several times, because... You are, you know, you've got your muscle memory, right click shift as fast as possible, and uh, it just doesn't function. And you don't have to worry about that with the uh, hold, because if you do the hold, you just let go and hit shift immediately, and it always works 100% of the time. So it makes me wonder if they just didn't test it very thoroughly or, or something like that, but in my view, that aspect of the toggle just makes it completely useless and half baked. So uh, I really hope they fix this because I would love to use it personally if it ever functions at some point in the future. But uh, hopefully I demonstrated what I'm talking about because it seems very confusing when I try to articulate what I mean by that. But uh, basically it comes down to, you know, having the sprint and the ammo sight share the same key in this game and the way the game handles it when toggled. If you are too quick about it, it will not do what it's supposed to do, you know. But uh, anyway, here's hoping the batch it. Thanks for your time. Have a good one, guys.